Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist John Carroll. Well, the main weather feature over the past several nights into the morning hours has been the patchy fog, and uh, tonight is going to be no different. Although today, up at Mount Bachelor, gorgeous looking sunrise in between the horizon and the cloud cover. Look at those clouds moving overhead. And uh, if you notice in the base of the clouds, there's, it looks like a little wispy scenario going on. There's, uh, there was some precipitation trying to make it to the ground, but it didn't do it. It stayed uh, on the dry side most of the area, although it was gray and damp. Here's what we got going on for you. As far as road conditions are concerned, uh, in the Prineville area, it is already a bit misty. Sisters, not all that bad, but you can also start to see the mist coming through. Madras is is involved in some fog and uh, in through and around Bend points to the south on 97, not quite in the foggy zone. Here's a look at 97 at Evergreen and uh, you can see the volume traffic and the mist causing some delays in that area. So give yourself some extra time getting where you need to be. And here's a look at the visibility issues and uh, we are looking at about a quarter mile visibility from just north of Bend all the way up in through portions of Madras on 97 and in through the Prineville area as well. So that is uh, problematic for us. Dense fog advisory all the way through till noon tomorrow. Low beams and slow speeds. Don't put the high beams on. You put the high beams on, they just go right into that mist and it reflects right back at you. And it's even harder to see with your high beams on. Rain returns on Saturday off and on. A little bit of light rain, maybe some mountain snow. Dry and mild on Sunday and a quiet start to your new year. Our mild scenario maintains a presence out ahead of the front, though. Got some wet weather coming in. If you notice, the high is drifting off to the east, but still bringing in that well above normal temperature profile. Showers now are just tickling into Deschutes County along the spine of the Cascades, uh, but they haven't made it here just yet. We are dealing, though, uh, with the foggy scenario. Future track does have that rain scooting through a little mountain snow at about 8 a.m. We'll see a speckling of showers tomorrow. Nothing major. And then as we get into Sunday, uh, the precipitation ends, but the clouds remain and New Year's Eve will be partly cloudy. And here is a forecast for New Year's Eve. We are monitoring the temperatures in the 30s from 6 p.m. down to midnight. So Happy New Year, everybody. But it's going to be a partly cloudy and crisp night for us. You may see some snow coming in in the middle of next week, but that is welcome sight for those that do enjoy uh, the winter sports. Currently, the winds are not all that noticeable. They're less than 10 miles an hour everywhere. Got a temperature right now of 36 degrees at Bend Regional. High temperatures today were in the 30s and 40s. It was a mild one today. Uh, currently, we have 30s across the board and upper 40s. Look at the pines still checking in with a 49. It's 40 in Warm Springs. As the lows uh, dip into the 30s tonight, we'll be followed by highs tomorrow in the 40 degree range, but a 50 in Prineville. We got 46 on New Year's Eve day, 45 on New Year's Day, and then showers come in Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe some mountain snow. That's a look at your local alert weather.